I see a lot of people nowadays fussing about their emotions. Emotions here, emotions there. This thing doesn't make me feel good. This thing doesn't make me feel nice. This thing angers me and such. See, these are all very childish, simple-minded questions that anyone should ask themselves. See, if something is not making you feel right, what are you making sure? Like, what are you doing to make sure that those things don't happen to you anymore? Or how is it that you are reacting to that problem that you're not feeling good? See, if something happens, something that happens doesn't make you feel good in most of the situations. In most of the situations, it is your stupid expectations, which usually society teaches you to be uh, unusually high. Uh, it is expectations that hurt you, not the event itself. See, a lot of people rage in video games. The reason why they rage in video games is that most people simply expect to always win. They play just to win. It's not important the journey, right? The journey is not important. Like, if you play a game just to see the victory screen, why not put yourself a wallpaper and every time you boot your computer and you see the wallpaper, you see the win screen, right? Because it's basically the same thing. If winning the game is the only important thing in life, well, you'll have a miserable life, honestly. See, emotions, emotions are valid only to you, not to society. Society can't care about <coughs> your emotions. Because, see, society is, first and foremost, an organism. As an organism, it is represented by the cells within it. The cells of a society are the families within. So, obviously, a sick society will always screw up the families. The first one that you always go for is the woman, not the man. In these days, they go for men because women have already been formatted to be somewhat complacent. So that nowadays, after years of complacency, they can be easily fooled that they have been, uh, you know, uh, suppressed and the such. But see, none of them ever did anything to make sure this suppression simply doesn't stand. And you know, women have always, at the same time, did something. Because you know, women have been doing miserable things, but in a silent way. Because, you know, silent warfare is how usually women fight. But simply men can't care about that, because men will be men irrespective of what things happen, and irrespective of how much women complain, because, you know, how modern women are. Men will do their job of building societies or demolishing societies. But the more important part of a man is to build a society so that modern women have where to complain and shit on you because, well, you know, they have to live a single life, uh, you know, and be mad at everyone else having nice couples. And, you know, they have to live a miserable life somewhere. You know, you can't let women live in the streets, especially modern women, because, you know, the only difference would be that instead of complaining inside a cozy home that you as a man have built, or at least designed, but, well, even women designers exist, but usually you don't see too many women in construction sites, well, at least they can complain in a cozy house, not on the streets. See, your emotions are simply irrelevant to a society, especially if it is a sick society. Because if you live in a healthy society and you're a dumb dumb well, you'll be somewhat marginalized. In a healthy society, if you're a psychiatry case, well, if you're a nut case, you're gonna be sent to the right place, right? But in this society, in this sick society, they always tell you that your feelings are valid. Why? If you haven't been convinced already that, especially in the pandemic, they wanted you dead, and they're doing all the things possible to keep you mentally dead, psychologically dead, emotionally dead, why do you think they care about your emotions? They never cared about your upbringing, your background, or anything. They're only wanting to make humanity, in, to turn huma humanity into a circus, you know? The Khazari people who, you know, wet themselves each and day, in each and every moment, thinking that they're ruling the whole world. No, no one is ruling anything in this world, okay? The only thing that they will rule is their own life to their own grave, because that's the only thing you can rule. You're not gonna take anything in this world and you were never born with it. You can get the expectations of other mad people, or you can take the expectations of wise people, or better said, their wisdom and their knowledge, and make use of those, because it's nothing else but tools, okay? If you prefer being a bozo who simply complains and doesn't do anything, well, at least you will be poor your whole life and you won't accumulate anything. You will die just you were, like you were born. But, you know, your misery and the such, you will take it with you as a karmic uh, 
substance, let's say, for your future lives to suffer in. It is better to simply become more aware and make this life better so that future lives as well will be much better. As I was saying, your emotions are invalid in a way. They only matter to you because they are a sense of how you are feeling. But the question is, are you cerebrally in tune with your emotions? How many times have you said, well, next video game will be better, next game will be better, next relationship will be better, next job will be better? See, your emotions will tell you how you feel about certain things. The biggest problem is how you think about those things. Because you've been lying yourself that you're doing good all the time, it is time to actually start a life in which you are actually doing good. And you're doing good things both for you and for the people around. Because when you're an idiot, only you uh, think that you are great, obviously the other people can't agree with you because, you know, an idiot is not hard to spot. And if you're not bringing any value to other people's lives, well, you're kind of living a hopeless life in the end, right? If you simply embrace your misery and your self-destruction instead of a healthy life, well, you're kind of a lost cause, unfortunately. All lost causes can still change themselves because not even God will save you, okay? God said you have free will. They won't move a finger. So why would you do that for other people? If God himself can't, uh, you know, if God himself can't help you uh, or can't help other people who are miserable, why would you be an idiot and try to do it, right? So don't fall for other people's tricks and the such. Emotions are easy to use against you, right? It's not hard to use someone's emotions against them. But the question is, how can you make your emotions actually support you? That is my question for today. This being said, hopefully this video was uh, able to raise a bit of awareness. You are appreciated. Take care. Ferenc board signing out.